What's poppin', what's poppin', man? Let's get it, let's get it, let's go. Let's go, man. Hopefully y'all had a good day. And thank you to the guys that booked a consultation on my first day, you know? I love helping the young guys, bro, because the things y'all been through, I already been through before. I did that, I made the mistakes. I'm, the mistakes you gonna make, I already made them. So it's good to have a person like that you can talk to because that's like the only shortcut that you can take in this life. It's like a mentor or somebody that gives you like daily advice. That's so important to have. But today I didn't want to get my other phone. I wanted to actually write. You know, once you write it, you just like some days you don't want to use technology. You just want to write. So today we'll get right into it, man. How to fix your life. And like I say, bro, I'm not the perfect guy. I'm not the most perfect guy on YouTube. I'm not the richest guy. I'm not none of that. I'm not even successful yet how I want to be. You know, but these are some things that I learned throughout my life. And like I always say, I'll be 33 next year. So hopefully, you know, I keep learning. So the first thing I learned is when you want to fix your life, bro, you have to kill addictions. And the world has made it so easy for us to get addicted to things. Weed is, you know, mostly legal. If you smoke it, you know, on Saturdays and Friday nights out in the open, you really don't get in trouble no more. You know, you, you really can do it. So they made it, they made it more accessible. So even though I don't think weed is a bad thing, but too much of it, too much access, it can fry your brain, bro. I know some guys, man, they just smoke so much weed. They delusional, they brain fried. It's a wrap, you know, and that's unfortunate, but it's a wrap. They brain, it, it really fries your brain if you, if you need it, need it. And if you're using it to escape, you know, and that's not the, you got other addictions, you know, porn, sex, all that gambling, you gonna have to kill it. You gonna have to kill it. And some people can do cold turkey. Some people can just do cold turkey. But for the most part, you gotta slowly get off it, man. But you have to decide that. Can't nobody decide that for you. You, you can come to YouTube, people can get take, oh, this is how you do this, this is how you do that. But at the end of the day, at 2 a.m. in the morning, when it's only you, you decide that. These videos don't decide nothing. It's going to be up to you to decide that. That's very important, you know. And the next one is working out, bro. That's very important. Like I say, a lot of dudes don't like going to the gym. You know, I don't, want to, I don't like working out around a whole lot of people. So you know what you can do? You can get you a pull-up bar. You can get you a resistant band. I got me some. And, bro, you good. You can do cardio uh, anywhere. You can run. If, if your apartment building got um, treadmills, you can get you one. You can run outside. Like, it's no excuse for us not to be in shape. It's no excuse for us not to have stamina. For me to do these videos every day, I have to be in some kind of shape. And I don't like to sit down. <laughs> I don't like to sit down. I drove trucks for nine, eight years. I sat down a lot. I don't like to sit down, bro. You know, I I really hate sitting down. I know, <laughs> I know that's weird, but I hate sitting down, bro. You know, so I have to be in some kind of shape. I have to have some kind of workout to stay consistent, bro. And see, that's the thing in life, bro. You can have everything. You can have the talent. You can have the uh, the knowledge of the game. You can have all that. But if you can't be consistent because some days you're tired, some days you're sad, some days you don't feel like it, somebody else will pass you up. You got to be consistent every day. And this is my first time in my life, well, I'm going to say second time, that now, man, ain't nobody outdoing me. Nobody outworking me, and nobody is getting better than I'm. I don't know how to say that, but <laughs> I'm becoming the best I ever been. Let's just put it like that. I'm becoming the best I ever been. And that's how you gotta feel about yourself. 
So you gotta create you a little workout thing. And you don't have to be no bodybuilder, bro. You know, create what you got to create for yourself so you can get that energy, so you can have that stamina, so you can feel healthy, so you can feel good. Working out, I'm telling you, working out makes you feel, it makes you feel like, okay, let's say you're on semen retention and you have an urges. Guess what? When you work out, it's gonna feel after, it's gonna feel like you had sex. I'm telling you, bro. So get those resistant bands. If you love going to the gym, hey, it's time. And I know the gym about to be filled with people January 1st and all that stuff. Man, don't even worry about that. Focus on you and your health, bro. That's really important, especially as you get older. You go see. You know, you go see. And pleasure, number three. If you if you want to fix your life, bro, you're going to have to minimize the pleasure. And I'm, I'm not going to say minimize. Pleasure is going to have to come from you fixing your life. So all this stuff, this is going to have to start bringing you pleasure. You know, the first thing I said, killing your addiction, that's going to have to bring you pleasure. It's going to have to make you feel good that you stop gambling. You stop having sex. You stop watching porn. You stop drinking. You stop smoking. That's going to have to start bringing you pleasure. You work harder. You working out now. Working out, should have, like, that's going to be your new pleasure, bro. Not escaping to go to the club and you, uh, and you broke, you got $30 in your pocket. But you don't want to tell this chick that you only got $30. Nah. You got to get your pleasure from fixing your life now. Your pleasure got to come from within now, bro. Every man, like I said in my last video, every man is going to have to take that journey, bro, that spiritual journey. And that's where your pleasure has to come from. Not these outside things that they told us to, oh, you need you need alcohol. Man, you don't need none of that shit. You don't need that shit. Pleasure got to come from you fixing your life. You know? The next thing, your foods you eat. And I'm going to be the first one. I'm from Louisiana, bro. Like, <laughs> if you eating healthy every day, man, you, you the truth. You the truth. So I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, eat healthy, eat. Look, man, for the most part, watch what you eat. You know, that's very important because what you eat, that's that's the way your body go, your body go react to the things you eat. I had to charge my phone, but let's get it. But like I was saying, your body is going to react to the things you eat. So you wonder why you're tired all the time. You wonder why you're depressed all the time. Watch what you're eating. You wonder why you can't stay consistent. You wonder why you can't uh, every day do this, do this. In this life, bro, you're going to have to stay consistent at something for a long period of time to become somebody, to become who you want to become. You're going to have to stay consistent at something. And you got to watch the things you eat. You know, and I know as humans, we not perfect, bro. So I'm not going to sit here, like I say, and say, oh, every day, greens, greens. Now we humans, bro. But for the most part, watch what you eat, bro. You don't want to be out here feeling depressed and down because of the food that you're eating. You don't want to have to go and they tell you you got diabetes. You got high blood pressure. It gets real, bro. You know, most of the older folks in my family had high blood pressure. So I know. I know. That's why I, I eat good. You know, probably on the weekend, probably on Saturday. Probably on a Saturday, I give me a Buddha in here and there. Give me some crawfish here and there. But for the most part, man, I watch what I eat. And I drink water. And I'm not the type, um, oh, you got to drink this kind of water. I'm not like that, bro. I drink water. I drink water. Man, we're in America. <laughs> if I could be honest, ain't nothing here healthy, but it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. And this, the most, well, I ain't say the most important, but it's very important. Reading, man. Like, start reading. You wonder why you can't create content, like, every day. You wonder why you can't have conversations. You wonder why you feel left out. Uh, you, you wonder why, like, your mind not evolving because you're not reading. Start reading, bro. 
a lot of things you need to learn, a lot of things that you don't know, is in the book. That's why I used to promote uh, Robert Greene book so heavy. You know, even though I still think that's the standard, I'm about to move on to new books because I read all those books. But it's important to read, man, because you could be going through something and the answers to get over that could be in the book. You could read a book and find out, oh, back in 1980, back in 1960, somebody else went through the same thing I went through and they overcame it. Not only overcame it, but they became successful. The first book I got, bro, the first book I ever read was in high school. Uh, my social studies teacher, she gave it to me. And it was about like celebrities like Denzel Washington and like how their life was before they got famous. And like to this day, I still remember that book. I still have that book. I still have that book. Because in high school, most time I didn't read, bro. I <laughs> we didn't read, bro. We were cheating off each other papers and stuff like that. Look, didn't nobody read, but when somebody took take their time out of their day and give you a book, that hits different. That hits different when somebody hands you a book, a personal book for you. It hits different. So start reading, man. That's gonna help you fix your life for real, for real. You know, so if you gotta buy the hard copy or the audio, it's up to you. But start reading, that's very important. You know? And this uh this is another one, bro. Social meeting, social media and dating apps. Social media and dating apps, bro. A lot of you are depressed and you feel stuck and you feel like you're behind and you and, and, and you stuck. In this, uh, in this maze, like those rats be in the maze when they're doing uh, tests on the rats and stuff. That's how you are. Because every morning you wake up, you hopping on Facebook. You seeing people being negative early. You hopping on Instagram. You seeing people being negative early. See, you, you wanna know what's important, bro? Your algorithm is so important. You create your algorithm. You control that. Not only in social media world, but in the real life, see in social media, if you control your algorithm, look bro, on Instagram, I don't have no gossip sites, no, no bad news, nothing. It's all motivational stuff. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know what it is. Because as men, we already wake up thinking of the worst. <laughs> we already wake up thinking of the worst. So we don't need to see other people actually saying the worst. We don't need to wake up in the morning Oh, 30 people died. Oh, takeoff just got shot. Like, we don't need to wake up and see that, bro. When you look at your algorithm, bro, you should see motivation, inspiration, like um, you learning things. Like, start learning things, bro. We stop learning because social media is so much full of entertainment, so people don't learn no more. If, if you're not in school, nobody's learning. Everybody's just complacent and... Just worry about entertaining. Start learning, bro. Watch how it, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel smarter. I'm for real. All in this generation, like everybody, like the answers are right there. But guess what? Society know if they put the answers in your face, most people are too lazy to do the research. Most people are too lazy to stay consistent. The answers right in your face. Control if you go stay on social media, control your algorithm. Control it. Watch who you follow. Watch what you watch. For real, that's very important, man, because you waking up watching The Shade Room. You waking up watching TMZ. Come on, bro. Them days dead. We already know what they're here for. They want your attention. They want your energy. All them sites want your energy. You can't give none of them your energy. That's very important. These dating apps, bro. You gonna have to take a sacrifice. And I know these days dudes just don't walk up to chicks. So I know what it is. On these dating apps, bro, if you wanna fix your life, you gonna have to delete that. If you wanna come up from rock bottom, you gonna have to delete the dating apps. Cause that's gonna be a distraction. Cause those dating apps, let me tell you, 
those dating apps is, they might as well call them sex apps. That's all it's there for. If you actually go on a date with a chick, nine times out of 10, you ain't getting what you want. <laughs> if you don't be upfront, but you trying to fix your life, you don't have time for that. You don't have time for dates when you're trying to fix your life because when you're trying to fix your life and you're going on dates, that means you're going to have to lie to chicks. You're going to have to waste a lot of your energy lying. See, let me, let me tell y'all something. As you get older, you want to put a stop to the lying because lying stops you from being who you really are. Lying stops you from becoming the man that you really are and it's going to hold you back. And one day you will look in the mirror and you will be depressed at yourself. You will be disappointed at yourself. You know, that's very important, bro. So while you're trying to fix your life, delete those dating apps, bro. Now, you don't have to delete social media. I know everybody tell you to delete social media, but I'm just telling you, change your algorithm. Change your algorithm. Even on dating apps, bro, they got, they got sections where you can like look for friends and i know most of it's still sex <laughs> at the end of the day those dating apps it's still sex so that's that's up to y'all man but if i was to be fixing my life and stuff like that oh delete the app like delete the app it's, it's very important bro because you don't want to be lying you don't want to be having to cover up what you really like how your life really is because that's gonna hurt you on the inside, you know? The next one, meditate slash pray, you know? And everybody meditate differently. You got some people who do it like the yoga. Uh, you got some, everybody does it differently. Me, when I wake up and I cook my breakfast and I turn some music on and I just sit and eat in silence, that's my meditation, bro. That's the moment I feel I can conquer anything. You have to wake up and put yourself first. You don't want to be waking up and you're in a rush to go to work. That means somebody controlling you. When you wake up early, you got time to meditate or pray, whatever your religion is. You know, you wake up, you pray. That time is for you. You need that time for yourself. That's, that's your time. You deserve that. So make sure you always have your time. Don't give this world all your time, all of you, because you will burn out. So make sure you always have time to meditate, however you want to meditate. Make sure you have your time to pray. That's very important, bro. As a man, it's important, you know? The next one, the people you talk to, the people you around. Bro, a miserable person can actually kill you. And I'm not saying kill you instantly like you dead. You know, I'm saying they can kill your whole spirit. Hold on. Let me, uh, hold on. Let me get some sunlight in here, man. Let me get some sunlight in here. They can kill your whole spirit. If you're around them all the time. If you listen to them complain. If you're in a relationship with a miserable woman. If your family uh, member is miserable. They can actually kill your soul, bro. You know, that's very important. Avoid that. Avoid them. You got to cut them off. You got to tell them, look, I'm trying to get somewhere in life. You know, I'm trying to get somewhere in life. So I got to go. I still love you, but I got to love you from a distance. Miserable people can kill you, bro. That's very important. Uh, the next one, I talk about this all the time. Seam retention. Very important, bro. We are addicted to sex. We are addicted to porn. We are addicted to masturbating. Um, we just addicted, bro. Some dudes paying for sex. You got some dudes giving up things for sex. They they paying whole bills for sex, and the girl disrespect them. You, you not benefiting at all. Seam retention, bro. Six months, a year, three months is very important, bro. That's gonna help. That's gonna help fix the problems that you have. And the thing I love about seam retention is, it's the foundation. It's gonna 
it's gonna work with everything, you know, but that's very important. And the last thing, this way I feel is very important. Take risk, man. Like I always say, don't keep yourself in the box. Especially my young guys. Don't put yourself in a box in this world, bro. Try different things. Travel different places. Stay different places. You know? Don't just stay in your mom house and you content. Don't do that, bro. Because you, you know, on this internet world, you're going to be frustrated. Because everything the women saying is wrong with men, you're going to think they're saying that about you. But when you out here living, you're doing different things, you're trying different things, you're trying different skills, you're not even watching that. That world don't even exist to you because you actually live in life. Stop watching everybody. Mm, hold on. This real. Stop watching everybody else live life and you live life. Stop watching everybody else live and you start living. That's the only thing about social media that I don't like. Everybody watching everybody. And the people that's watching, they ain't doing nothing. You know, they not doing nothing. Or let me say how y'all say it. They not doing anything. So you have to change that up, bro. You have to start living life. You want people to start watching you. You want people to be like, wow, did you really go here? That's very important, man. You know, so these are the steps to fix your life. And like I say, I'm not the most perfect guy. I'm on a journey. My goal is to go a year. You know, so every day to me, I have to do these videos because these videos give me the energy that <laughs> if I was having sex, bro, I wouldn't be doing these videos like I do every day because I wouldn't have the energy to do it. So by me doing these videos, I use that energy that I've been using for sex. And I love it, bro. I miss it. <laughs> I miss it, bro. I miss it. I miss having that, uh, a chick with long hair like just right up to me. I, I miss that. But I know how my life will look in six months. Mm. I know the kind of man I'm going to be in six months. I know the kind of knowledge I'm going to acquire in six months. It's a mask. Hey. This, this is my first time really taking this journey serious. And high risk, high reward. And that's what I want out of life. I'm 32. So I got to go hard. Eight more years, I'll be 40. Damn. Y'all have a good day, man.